Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn about an extremely important point in Android and that is basically fragments. So fragments are basically the building blocks of your application. So basically whenever you are making complex Android applications fragments is what you are going to use. So without wasting any time let's learn what are fragments. So what exactly is a fragment? So a fragment is actually a portion of the user interface in an activity. So you already know that the screen or the mobile application screen which appears in front of you is called as an activity. And what you could essentially do is that you could basically go ahead and design or you could basically split up one activity into two multiple activities by using a fragment. So a single portion of the user interface in an activity can be called as a fragment. So for example, let's say you want to have two activities inside a single activity that can be achieved through fragments. Multiple fragments can be combined in a single activity. So as I earlier mentioned, when you have multiple activities, you could basically go ahead, make them into fragments and you could place those fragments into your single activity. A modular section of an activity which has its own life cycle. So as I earlier mentioned, a fragment is nothing but a part of an activity and not only it is like an activity itself, but also it has its very own life cycle. So we have already discussed about the life cycle of an activity, that how an activity starts, how it resumes, how it stops and how the activity actually ends. So same as the case with a fragment. So each fragment has its own life cycle. Now, if you have trouble understanding what fragments actually are and how they work, let's take a look at the simple example of how fragments actually look like. So this is the basic overview and this is how the fragments actually look like. So there are two examples over here. One is the case of a tablet and on the right hand side, we have an example of a handset. So if you have a look at handset, we have a list view over there, which has activity A, which contains fragment A. So when you click on a particular option, we have the activity B, which contains fragment B. Now, if you notice the tablet version of the same application, we have the entire activity divided into two fragments, the fragment A and fragment B. So in case of a tablet, the activity A contains both the fragments, that is the fragment A as well as the fragment B. So the green list view which you are able to see over there is nothing but the fragment A and the white list view on the right hand side on the tablet which you can see is nothing but the fragment B. So in this way what you could essentially do is that you could split up your activity into multiple different modules which is called as fragments. So that's where the name actually comes from that is basically we fragment the entire activity into multiple parts. Now let's go ahead and learn what kind of app are we going to develop by using fragments. So the main purpose of this application is to show you guys how fragments actually work in an activity. So we are going to have the main activity. This main activity is going to have two fragments. That is it's going to have fragment one and then it's going to have fragment two. So as you could see now the main activity is entirely covered by fragment one and fragment two. So basically we are fragmenting the activity into two parts and this is how the fragments are actually going to work. So the fragment one and fragment two are going to take the data from a single class which we are going to make. So we will have a certain kind of class from which both the fragments are going to get their data. Now as far as the app is actually concerned, uh, let's take a look at how the app is actually going to look like and how it's going to perform. So as you could see, we have the activity over here. So on the left hand side, we are going to have three options or three items. So whenever you select the first item, what's going to happen is that the second fragment, which is displayed in blue color, is actually going to display the name and description of item number one. If you select item number two, then the right hand side fragment is actually going to show us the name and the description of item number two and same is the case for item number three. So this is how we are actually going to design our application. So instead of having item one, item two and item three, what we will do is that we will have options like uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And on the right hand side, when you select a particular option, the appropriate options are going to be presented. So for example, let's say if you select the breakfast option, 
that means you will be presented with breakfast items on the right hand side of the second fragment. So that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys were able to understand the concept of fragments. So in simple terms, fragment is nothing but your entire activity divided into several parts or several fragments. So in the next lecture onwards, what we will do is that we will start building this app which we have learned right now. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.